welcome back to another video. I am Kazi Cole and I'm here with Mark Hill, Jordan Moran, Anaya Watson, Nara Hughes, Didi McClendon, Sylvana Ekwekwe. So we got a couple uh, questions. It's gonna be a Q&A, kind of an end of semester type of thing. Um, we ain't gonna take too much time. Just gonna go straight into it. We're gonna start kind of uh, easy and then we'll get into some deeper questions. Uh, so just the easy one, flats or drums? Controversial. Drums. Flats. I'm a drum girl. I'm a drum girl. Flats. I got you. I like a little struggle. I think I'll go flats. I'll go flats. Flat? Yeah. Like drums doesn't have enough meat just to rotate. Oh. Mm. Get drum. I'll go flats. Yeah. I feel like flats just have more meat than... Yeah, I feel like they're a little easier. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's okay. Exactly. You got a lot. Either grab the finger or you got to lift your tongue. Yeah, you got to lift your tongue. I mean, with flags, like, people have all those, like, hacks to, like, get all the meat out. Like, they break it in half and, like, slide it on. Yeah. Where's the flag? 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 Where's the Scariest moment in your life? Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I already told this story, but yeah, I almost died in middle school because my appendix almost popped inside of me. Oh, it was very dramatic. I didn't want to go to the hospital because you know how the parents said, "You go, if you, if you hurt yourself, I'm not taking you to the hospital." I'm like, oh, I don't want to, don't want to go to the hospital. What they said, there's nothing wrong with me. Yeah, I went there. He said, "Oh, if you was." This late, you would have died. I said, oh. oh wow. Oh. It was very dramatic. It was very dramatic. Oh. He's here, though, with us. You're the survivor. Scariest moment was homecoming week. I went to a party off campus, and there was a white guy with a gun with the AK, like, that walked right by me. Oh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. And I ran for my life, and everyone ran for their life. Nothing happened. No shooting happened, but I definitely, that was a scary moment, and I was, like, on the phone my mom. Especially because there's a lot of HBCU shootings that were happening. Um, my scariest moment uh, would be a shooting as well. Uh, it was a pool party. Um, shots just started ringing. Everybody was running. And I actually ran past the dude who was firing back. Uh, he had the whole gun. He was hiding behind a little beach chair or whatever. Uh, but it was just like, I literally saw it. And I was like, oh. I'm trying to get up out of here. Uh, this is why I don't really go to parties anyway, but that would probably be mine. Um, let's skip me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get me too. It's got a second half, y'all. Hey, guys. Yeah, who are y'all's favorite artists? It's yeah, I don't know. With what? Uh, I'm gonna take my song by status. <laughs> in between The Weeknd and Sister. I really mm. love those two. You know what? Coco Jones came out with a new song right now. Woo! I'm not, I'm even gonna. I think Coco That's for me. Mm. I don't know, man. I'm trying to expand a little bit, but yeah. I probably, I probably just give genres instead. I would just say uh, gospel, R and B, or like hip hop. But like, I don't know. I'm going in between. Uh, I don't have like an artist, one particular artist. Okay. Hear me out. Okay. Oh, oh, gosh. oh, gosh. oh, oh Taylor. I, love, I love Taylor Swift and it's Lana so Del Rey. Oh, I um sure. And to name a to name a black person, I love Beyonce as well. <laughs> to name I a black, black person, person. It's crazy. But, they, but I wish I'd have done At the moment, yeah, at the moment, Coco Jones came with that song. Coco Jones, yeah. Um, love Michael Jackson. That's great. Um, also love Tori Kelly. She's a great vocalist. And Alicia Keys. Mm -hmm. Beyonce forever. Mm -hmm. I've been cutting up some Renee rap lately. Oh! oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Renee, Leve, just because, I don't know, maybe I'm in my sad bag right now, but <laughs> like I've really just been on like the lowdown. And some Erica too. Mm -hmm. Right now it's Tim's. She just dropped her new song and I love it. And mm -hmm. so it's just Tim's. That's what it is. You know what so. I mean? I have a follow-up question to that. What's your favorite artist on campus? Oh. oh. Shout out Jindel. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out artist. Honest, Aaliyah. 
I'm gonna go Kelvin. Yeah. I'm gonna go Kelvin Sings. Kelvin Sings. Nina, the grandma right there. Nina's my little. I love Nina. Nina. Oso. 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 My big bro. I'm a bear. Make love, make love. Oso. Faith. 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 Or, uh, uh. And Hart Promise. We don't want Ari. Oh, yes, Promise Thomas. Oh, promise. We got J Deuce. There's a lot of people. All of them. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Everyone that ever saw Murph. Yeah. In Harmony. Yeah. 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 You guys, you guys have been at the lighthouse. Of course. Yeah. yeah. We have some new guests here. Ah! Don't join us. We're going to make sure they're going to in the frame. Uh, Y'all introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sianna. I'm a second year English major with a concentration in film studies in New York. Hey, I'm CJ. I'm a fourth year English guys from Where do you see yourselves five years from now? Ooh, ooh. How do we go from scary experience? <laughs> five years from now. Future experience. I'm just going through it. Right? Huh? You go first. Uh, five years. I will have graduated um, already. Um, I plan to have already started uh, in the field of acting, uh, being in the industry, the entertainment industry. Um, Five years, it'll be 24, two years out. Ooh, that's crazy. We get old, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> I just hope my family, my friends, and myself are where we want to be. Uh, all of our dreams are, you know, carried out at that time. Um, okay, five years from now, I mean, I'll be 25. Um, yeah. Everything goes right. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> all right, guys, we're all around the same age. <laughs> um, well, hopefully, if I get my master's in athletic training, hopefully, I'll be working for the NBA by that time. Yeah. 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 Five years from now, I want to be somewhere in the city. I want to be that that apartment New Yorker somewhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Get out somewhere, somewhere. I, I want. I, I love this the little city. It's, it's yeah. I just want to be in the city. Maybe because I've been. I'm in Maryland, so it's not that much. But I want to be like somewhere in the industry where I can just. I don't want to say it, but yeah. Easy access. Easy access to like where I want to be in life, opportunities I can reach. You better right start there. getting to know the rats now. Five years. Wow, that's twenty-four. Oh God. Um, I think I hope to be in getting to law school, and also being in like a city like Markel said, where I could have the opportunities to act while I'm getting my law degree. Um. So yeah, I think that's where I want to be at. Um, in five years, I hope I finish my musical that I'm writing currently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, on stage, anywhere, preferably singing, acting. Yeah, and just hopefully, like mindset-wise, I hope like I have uh, balance in whatever I'm doing, because that's just what I'm, I'm trying to achieve now. Just balance. Um, in five years. I'm 21, so I'll be 26. Oh, my God. Hey, don't be scared. I'm going to go by age 26. Um, you know, be in a good place, Um, I guess, in the entertainment industry. And I hope my film company is well established by then. And love NAR Production. <laughs> Yeah, I also hope to also still be performing because I like to sing and dance, so hopefully I'm on track with that as well. But yeah, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. And Will? Yeah. And Will. <laughs> um, in five years, hopefully I'll have my BSN, so be a nurse of some sort, hopefully yeah. in trauma. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much all I'm working for, you know. She's getting uh, paid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's getting paid. And maybe pursuing the happiness that I'm skipping out on now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
in five years from this moment, I'll be 24, 20, 25. Um, I guess I want to be kind of like what everybody said, at peace. I want to have written either my show or my movie, whatever I decide, probably a show. Um, and I want to have like some foot in the industry, whether it's like in the writer's room or like, I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna be there. And you're gonna see me. Right. <laughs> um, I would say I'll be 24, 25. Um, there's three things I need. Success, happiness, and money. Yeah. Um, and God, for it. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I hope to be getting my master's in film um, at a good school, hopefully in New York. I'm looking at Columbia or like even California and Cal Art. So hopefully achieving that and then moving forward with my film career. So. Woo! Oh, here's a good one. How do you navigate dating in college? Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> just don't. No. <laughs> just don't. Simple. Yeah, you don't have to navigate anything. <laughs> don't, 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 focus on yourself. Protect your peace. Right. Focus don't on your school. And eat Chipotle. Alright. Put on a serious bed. Yeah. yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> Like college is a good time for you to get to know yourself mm -hmm. so I feel like that should be like your main focus and then if along the way someone happens to come along that's fantastic yeah. but if not then that doesn't mean like anything's wrong that's just not part of your journey yet also it's like I feel like it's important to like uh, love yourself through the phases of life so like um, making sure you're clear of who you are and what's actually important to you so that way you can give what you like actually want in like a relationship you know what i'm saying so also like making time for yourself making time for other things like you don't want to become codependent or anything like that um, but you do want to make sure that person feels like you care about them so. mm -hmm. um piggybacking off of that i would say um don't rely on other people for your happiness so like mm -hmm. just don't try to get into a relationship because you feel like you're not content with yourself because I feel like at that point you have to focus on yourself more than you should be worrying about other people because no one can really love you if you don't really love yourself. You know, so you can't love you the right way, at least. I think people go to college expecting to have a relationship or come out with one, mm -hmm. but you don't really have to, per se. Uh, like they were saying, if somebody comes along, then, uh, then that's just your story. That's what happens, they come along, but don't try to force nothing. Uh, don't try to settle for anything uh, or try to make somebody feel a void or whatever you're feeling. Um, yeah, that was a good question. Great question. I keep reversing these questions, but I feel like the same thing could be said for friendships. Not oh, like yeah. the same thing. Oh, for sure. The same oh, question could be asked of what advice friendship. do you have for navigating friendships? Oh, I definitely. <laughs> 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 Yeah, because you can have a dating life and then you can't. But like friendship, having like, no friends in college is like yeah, most yeah. 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 likely you're gonna have friends in college at least one <laughs> at some point in yeah. the four years. <laughs> <Me. laughs> like, and like that's a whole thing. Like yeah, I just say so, I think be careful. Um, don't go trust the people too fast. Cause I made friends over the internet. Don't expect them to be the same in person. Yeah, because you don't know how they are in person. Um. So that, that would be, especially as a freshman coming in, don't trust everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Going off of that too, I would say don't tell everybody your business. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me on that. I have that problem still to this day. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to tell people to tea. I don't tell other people's yeah. business, but I'd be quick to tell my own. So don't do that because, especially on Hampton's campus, because it's very small and it's like, it's really like a little community. So if you tell one person one thing, don't think it's not gonna get to them. Mm -hmm. Because right. <laughs> <Right. Right. laughs> next thing you know, the wrong person gonna know your business. Get a journal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like at Hampton, it's very like, I don't know how to say it, not performative, but like a lot of people show like who they know. And I think one thing, that's very just the internet look of it. And I think one thing that's important is to, it's more important to have like close friends than like, in smaller numbers rather than like a bunch of people that you like barely know. Um, but I find a lot of people kind of look for that. 
big, I know all these people instead of like, yeah. I have like these two cool friends that I like. Yeah. Also, I think it's important to recognize uh, the capacity uh, each, like your, like, each friend you can like, you know, have. Not every friend is you, you need to tell your entire life story yeah. to. Some of them are just like, you know, cool people that you like hanging around. Like, yeah. you know, knowing where you have like deep connections with people and then knowing where you have like acquaintances, that's very important. And that's a lesson that I had to learn because not everybody's gonna be like your soul sister. Um, not everybody views friendships like that and you have to kind of way through that and just because another person doesn't view friendship the way that you do doesn't make them like a bad person you just have to um, pick and choose how you want to spend your time and who you want to give yourself to. I would also say that like take note that everything is an experience um, you learn from everything that you go through so even if you have problems with friendships or relationships that's literally like a part of your college experience and you're going to grow from that so Take those as a, a po more positive thing, I would say. Of course, like in the moment of things, it's going to be upsetting. It's going to be like, you know, detrimental. But like in the end, realize that it's a it's a lesson at the end of the day. So. Also, to make it back up what everyone else said, take value on who are your friends and who are not your friends and who is trying to be, pretend to be your friend. Because there's a lot of people who will try to compete with you in a sense to be your friend or especially in this college setting there's like certain things that happen and that's a big one to pay attention to yeah i feel like like in regards to relationships and friendships like if it's not adding peace to your life then just don't because college and life is already so like chaotic and the last thing you need is people to add to that chaos like you need people who are going to add to your peace but when you do have people that do that then it's very it helps you feel even more fulfilled so yeah yeah i definitely like agree with like grow from your experiences especially with friends like i think sometimes people i mean at least at Ham what i've witnessed at hansen's campus will like have friends and then they'll create like, you know, a bad relationship with them or something like that. Stop being friends with them and then repeat that cycle just with multiple people. And it's like, like you should learn from the things that you do. Yes. Exactly. Like if, even if someone isn't your friend anymore, but it's not like, you know, repairable, the relationship's not something you can fix. It doesn't mean you can't fix yourself. You know what I mean? Moving forward. And then also just keep in mind, like friends are friends. It just all relationships are only meant to last a certain amount of time and we don't know how long that is mm -hmm. so someone you meet could that could be your friend for a week you know what i mean or it could be your friend for the rest of your life and you really don't know but it's okay regardless yeah. also show up for your friends yes like, yes. yes support friendships yes. are just as <clears throat> just as important as relationships so whatever you put into your friendship you should be getting that back and if you recognize that that's not what you're getting back those are not your friends because it feels so special to like have the people you care about show yes. up and yes. show you that they care Absolutely. so you should do the same thing it's I'm also, also, yeah definitely i've also i've always said this don't lose good morals because other people don't have any mm. Woo! <laughs> don't lose it don't lose it like please because then a lot of times people are heartbroken or they they lose a friend and then they do that same thing to other people because they feel like, oh, they don't trust them or other people did them wrong in the past, so now it's their turn to do other people wrong. Two wrongs don't make it right, like at the end of the day. Like that whole DTN, DTV, all of that stuff, that's hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> so don't be one of those people. Like learn from the situations that you have been through and don't take it on to other people because then it just becomes a cycle. So. Hollins, I miss the Hollins, man. Bro, I need some good oh, Hollins. I got the question. first Hollins. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was the last. That was the last. Good Hollins, bro. Everything else was iffy. Um, so, okay. Pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. <laughs> so, what's your favorite recurring Hampton event? Like basketball games, atrium parties, that kind of thing. I love the back to back with the force and the blue lightning. Yeah, I, oh you know I love that. We love the force. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But I also I love um I love band trips, of course. Um, that's one thing that's very near and dear to me because I don't march, but it's just the the relationships that I build with people in the band and the experiences that I get from being in the band. 
It's dope. I also love SFO and all the things that I yeah. SFO. Yes, big SFO. Um, the award shows, like the screenings, like yes. those those two things for sure, like near and dear to my heart. So. I love Lighthouse. It's new, mm, but the energy, oh my goodness, at Lighthouse, it's like, um, how would you describe Lighthouse? It's like Hampton's mini music video. Yeah, music festival. It's like a Coachella inspired, but like, <laughs> all black. <Yeah. laughs> so just imagine how dope that is. And like student artists performing their songs. We mm -hmm. have vendors, and they, they make food, um, <coughs> clothes, bracelets, and like, uh, just any Everything. type of creativity is just mm -hmm. out. Um, for me, I would say, I mean, I am in the band, so I do like <laughs> football games. Like, I'm a performer. I like to dance, all that. Um, but other than that, I like homecoming. Yeah. Uh, specifically, like, when they set up the tents and the shops all around the student center, like, walking through that, you see all the alumni and stuff. Yeah. It's cool. I like the step show. I think it's cool. I like the step <coughs> show this past fall, <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. And I like going, I like to dance too, so I, go, I love watching people perform. So, I love the step show. I also like, uh, like you said, Homecoming and H U versus H U. Oh, oh, every yeah. time. Oh, every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. Like, it's almost like like Hampton has kind of has like a double homecoming because like H U versus H U do we give a homecoming like? <laughs> it's always like a week or so before. So yeah. Like, back to back. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we go to the to the to the real yeah. issue. Yeah. The real one that wins every time. The one that wins. Right, right. right. Just look it up. Just look it up. We're on a winning streak. <laughs> what is it? Seven? Since Obama, no, since like, Obama was president. Those more than five. Yeah, I stopped so counting. H vs H U is so fun. It's cool seeing anytime alumni come back and like yeah. just want to vibe out at the games and stuff. It's just fun. Yeah, and it's seeing the band play like <laughs> I really do love basketball games. Like they're just a lot of fun, whether you know we're cheering there or not. Um, and then I really love like Shimmy Like a Noob or like Train Like an Alpha mm -hmm. just because it's like a really great and like freshman fashion show. Just like A, having participated in the freshman fashion show, but also getting to see the freshmen like get their time on stage mm -hmm. and being like, you know, performers and like stuff like that. Like it's just really cute and it's like just so proud of them. I don't even know them. <laughs> 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 I'm a freshman, I can't ask them to answer like the reoccurring events. So. But I will say our shows, but like because we have done so many this year. So, I say the shows that we do. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think Homecoming is the obvious one. I think every year Homecoming I had the most fun. Um, throughout the year after that, it just like, <laughs> like yeah. those. Um, I was hoping for, <laughs> I was hoping for um, a solid 100 days this year. It was interesting. <laughs> But, oh, okay. 100 days oh, is 100 yeah. days until the seniors graduate. But yes. everybody on holiday. Everybody's holiday. Everybody's holiday. Everybody's holiday. Everybody's holiday. Um, but I do like really like an Ogden event that people all show out for. Oh, if yeah. it's like Alpha, if it's like a noob, if it's like a performance, like if Majestic is performing or the Terps are performing, like anything that like really brings the crowd out. Because like for the first it's the, they say they gonna start at seven, but for the first thirty minutes, it's them like playing first music, hour. trying to get everybody hyped <laughs> and installing yeah. everybody. Yeah. So those moments when people are like together, or like the calf, anytime in the calf when there's like good music and people are actually move into the music and we're like line dancing and stuff, is also really fun. My question was, um, what's y'all favorite Hampton tradition? Like, like, um. Like things that only happen at Hampton. <laughs> so like the uh, bat, like yeah. Like, yes. Oh, the oh, 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 year of the year. It's the year of the year. Oh my God! Oh, 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 oh. I don't care. Like, like not being able to cross Ogden Circle to mm -hmm. graduate. Like I love that. Like that's just like so. Dive in. Like a couple days. For Ogden. QT Club. Yeah. Those are my overs. Okay. Oh, if you go to Hampton, you're either going to be an uh, Onyx. Here we go. 
Oh, uh, ogre or a QT? A QT is a gas station. Ogre is a Shrek. And Onyx is a diamond. like in high school I had like alumni saying to me if someone came up to you and was like oh like oh I'm a you ask them what class and they don't say a class name they obviously didn't go to yeah. Hampton because that's Hampton's culture oh like what class were you oh I'm class of 20 to no, no. <laughs> We live in a kind of open campus, so you can tell who really like was coming to Hampton and then who wasn't. Yeah. Because the class names are big, they like that's a state. Yeah. I also love induction, freshman induction. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's just yeah. such a I like the Hampton stuff well. I wish it was longer. Like we do the same <laughs> thing. Like, <laughs> I like the edible, like pig, yeah, well, like, two turns, something. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a nice vibe when we do it. When we do it to the original song, love Beyonce down. But we gotta we gotta respect the original. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Oh Hampton. The alma mater. Oh, 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 Every time the alma mater. Find my friends, we gonna be bumping to right. it. Yeah, and you gotta sing the second Bro, first time. Oh. Mother. <laughs> and if you're hold that leg, hold that leg, yes. hold that leg. Hold that hold that leg. leg. Hold and when the band play, it go hard yes. every time. That's what they do. And if you're yeah. in choir, what yes. part you will know the alma mater? You know two verses. Nothing hits. And if you don't, we will test you on it. Yeah, row by row. Nothing hits. Like a winning <laughs> alma mater. Winning the HU HU game and singing the alma mater. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, but we lose games to very depressing alma mater. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> like, we win, yeah. we go hard. Oh, it's lit. That, is, that was a good one. So good. I forgot about that. I like that. our cheers. Like, I'm a, I, ooh, rock the blue and white. Blue! Hey, white! Hey, white! Every time. Oh, okay. That's so hard. That's so good to me. Yeah. <laughs> that scratches my brain. Shout out SRT, student recruitment team, because they'd be coming up with the, yeah, um, yeah. the chance and stuff. Yeah. I really like, I don't know if it's a tradition, I feel like it's a tradition at this point, but every time they be doing them dance battles, like Crossfire mm -hmm. and Majestic and all of them, mm -hmm. I love to see it. I'm right there. Yeah. What's your favorite way to, like, I don't want to say decompress, but what's your favorite, like, extracurricular? And it doesn't have to be like, you know, a sanctioned activity. Oh, like it could be like reading by the work. I like to color. Oh, yeah. 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 She's prepared. <laughs> I bring it with me everywhere. So if there's any time I need to decompress, I just pick up. But I'd be copying if I pulled out my crochet. That's right <laughs> now. <laughs> no, but that's fun. That's cool. First of all, that's yeah. bad. Oh, that's a flex. That's a flex. That's a flex. That's a Honestly, going out to the waterfront with people and y'all and like watching a different world that like really helps. Y'all do that? Yeah. 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 That is my show. Yes. Finally. That's like my favorite. That's like my favorite sitcom. Yeah. Oh. That's that, that's definitely like top tier. Of my favorite. Sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. And it's based off of Hampton. Hampton. Based off of Hampton. The wine. <laughs> Bye, the wine. <laughs> Um, I would say reading, or um, like I doodle. I don't. It's not like they don't. They're not like. I couldn't draw this thing right here, but like I just kind of do whatever my hand wants me to do, That's and so I cool. just like it. Just helps me like not like do like anxiety yeah, things. So, so, yeah. So anything with my hands where like I have to draw or like I'm writing how I feel, but mostly reading is escape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's true. Mm -hmm. Reading, for sure. Um, I like to draw. I have art, so like painting. I just got into. Shout out to Dee Dee. Um, so painting, drawing, mostly like sketching, and then writing. Like, mm -hmm. I have like a story in my head. Like I like to write, or like journaling my day. I like to write. I would say for me, painting for sure, and then writing scripts, of course. Especially if I'm going through something, I swear one day <laughs> one of my ops gonna be in a movie. <laughs> 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 no, my name. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I would say yeah, writing scripts and also editing. If I ever have videos to edit, I'll and editing is so it like it's a lot, but it can be peaceful at the same time. You know, like it's. It can be very um, peaceful. I really like dancing, like dance. I'll dance anywhere, <laughs> almost to anything. And it just feels like such Jeez. like a contrast to the things I do on the regular. So yeah. it's like, it's just so, especially like, if honestly, if I'm the only one dancing, that's okay too. I'm gonna feel a little bit insecure, but I'm gonna still do it. You know what I mean? Especially if the band's playing. <laughs> I'm behind you. Yeah, I'm about to tell my roommate caught me. Oh wait, making playlists. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a big one. Making a playlist, yeah. finding songs to add to my playlist. Just top tier. I, I like to write scripts as well, also, but I also like adventuring. I like to explore places I just haven't been. Mm -hmm. Like finding the wrong street not to go down and make sure I don't go down that street no more. <laughs> <laughs> but I like to, I like to explore quest. places. Yeah, yeah side quest. Markel would just be like, where's my cow? <laughs> 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 I don't do that. We I have just, a conversation with Mark Hill. He was like, that boy gone. <laughs> <laughs> not, no. Look at Mark Hill trying to be out there. If I see I want to go see it. Because I'll be finding these new weeks, new areas. I'm like, huh, I've never seen that before. I go over there and they said, where'd you go? I said, I went to <laughs> They just don't see me. But yeah, I like to adventure. Um, me, I'm a gamer. I like gaming. I will get lost in that PlayStation 5 for six hours and then <laughs> realize I have an assignment due later that night. So, yeah, I feel like that's my way of losing. And I like music, dancing, stuff like that too. We see you. This is how we get that. This one that mouthpiece on But put that sax to the side and he's gonna hit them hips. Yeah, I do like to rock. <laughs> it's really sad, but napping. I will take a nap anytime. I love <laughs> nap. I love to anytime, drive. anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. Yes. Nap. On a water front. Four naps today. On a water front. Three <laughs> points. In a stew. <laughs> it could be, and people are like, I nap for like an hour. No, I will knock out for four yeah, hours. Yeah. We're deep in there. Day wait. Slumber. 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 That's scary. That's like <laughs> so Oh, oh, that's not that cool. That's scary. <laughs> oh, okay. The scary thing. The TV buzzing. I start wow. Yeah, that's the talent. Yeah, 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 I like thinking. I can't sleep. Be more alert. But there's no like sound. Like when I was a kid, I could not sleep with total yeah. silence. You, I had to watch TV. Like I went to sleep going to TV, like with TV on. Like it was, there was no. And then I got older, I could sleep in silence, but it, it's hard for me because then I start thinking about things. Going, going, going. going. That's I the can. thing, the brain starts moving when it's quiet for me. So that's a pleasure. Yeah. I don't need a little noise like a fan. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> yeah. Would you rather never get sick or never get tired? Never get sick. Oh my god, being sick is I'll never get tired. I'm going to sleep. I love sleep. I like sleep. I like to sleep, but I also like to do things. Yeah. And sometimes I'll sleep when I don't need to be sleeping. Um, I like to nap, so I'll just go to bed instead. But I also like to be up, especially at night, just doing stuff. Um, I don't really get sick that often, so never get tired. Yeah, I, I, I never get sick. I hate being sick. It's like you're dying, but yeah. like, you, you live right after. So, <laughs> <I'll>... <laughs> so y'all get sick and then reminisce about the times where you weren't sick? Yes. Every yes, time I get we all know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I take my sickness personally. Like, I, I'll be crying. I'll be like, why am I sick? Like, why, why me? <laughs> why all day? Like, all people. Like, who got me sick? I was like, it's like, it's like, it's like it's I'm sick yeah. during the worst times too. Like, I actually got priorities when I'm sick. Literally, like, uh, I had a recital. I was, I was sick. Mm -hmm. That's why, I would, like, I would put never be sick because, like. 
especially when you see that like, you can't be sick. Yeah. Never <laughs> you live in life. So yeah, yeah I would pick my a reason. sore throat. You put more back on. <laughs> I got a question. Pancakes, waffles, or French toast? Waffles. Waffles. French toast, Pancakes. waffles. Oh, I'm going waffles. Pancakes. I recently got into waffles. What? what? Between waffles and French toast. Pancakes is <laughs> yeah. not a good one. I was a very French toast. Dude. So I was like, I don't want waffles. Waffles look, it's not pancakes. And you say, Markel, it's just mix. <laughs> but not pancakes. I said, I don't want that. And then I tried one time and I said, yeah, this is great. I said, you're like, that's what I was getting. You try it. <laughs> Waffles are just pancakes with abs. That's yeah. not true. Yeah. That's definitely yeah. not true. Yeah. It's it's true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's entirely true. true. Wait, they're just like no, potato waffles. There's, there, yeah. You can make waffles out of different anything. Out of anything. Oh, no, no, no. no. I mean, I say French no, toast yeah. all day because all you have to do is just basically grab some bread, grab a little milk and some egg, put some cinnamon. There you go. It's you have to buy mix in flour. It's the French toast. Don't taste like cake. You can't make it right. Like, <laughs> I feel like waffles. If I taste egg, it's gonna waffles. Yeah. Waffles stay the same. Pancakes, okay, you guys syrup, they get soggy. You have literally anything, <laughs> they gonna get soggy. <laughs> Why y'all want soggy? I hate those. No, no it's I nasty. Like that. Yeah, I will nasty. say, pancakes at IHOP with the strawberry syrup, but. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's the only pancakes I eat were from the chicken. Me too. Chicken and waffles. I'm not a chicken and waffles girl. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was <laughs> separate breakfast. I was. What's your favorite late night snack in Hampton? Oh, I'm a big snack. Snack. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> I'll get the hook out. Yeah, thank you. I didn't want to do that myself. Cookout cookout tray. Honestly, cookout everyone's tray. cookout tray. Like, what, what do y'all get? Ooh. Yes, what's your cookout tray? That's a Me, good question. I, do, like, I used to do a big double burger and two cheese quesadillas and cheer one. Cheer one is so insane. Now I do two quesadillas and usually corn dogs. But the way I really max out is two quesadillas. Four quesadillas, actually. Yep. That way you get four of them. They <laughs> small. That's how you right? max out. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. They <laughs> small though, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. they do. That's why you need that many. And small. honestly, after four, I'll be full. So, or like, honestly, I don't know. My appetite be decreasing now. So I'll be eating two and full. <laughs> Can we go down to one? Let's look at order. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't be getting it. I get the little, the two hot dog, ham, uh, whatever sounds, the little chili hot dogs, and then all the day. I, I get full easily. So I did, if I eat like two things and some drink, I'm gone. Um. See, I haven't really ordered, like, we don't cook at where I'm from, so I you haven't gotten an order really good from there, but I've gotten the hush puppies, which are really good. So I'll eat the hush puppies up. So, I don't really have them yet. Now, let's Go hear your order. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I never, I didn't hear of cookout until I got here at Hampton. Me either. But, uh, <laughs> okay, for me to get full, <laughs> I got three big double burgers. <laughs> Damn. The big ones, not the small. They're not that big. Yeah, big double burgers and regular burgers are the same thing. It's three big double burgers. Thank you. Two quesadillas, uh, the fries, the large fries, and then the uh, I got two big drinks. <laughs> I'm not even worried about the food, it's the price. I know your wallet be hurting. No, I mean, how what? Hurt? That's, that's, gonna, that's, 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 that's a lot. Don't want to cook out until you don't spend <laughs> that much money. But think about it. It's small, bro. I need to get full. That is true, Because that's I would get upset if I eat and I'm not full. Because I just spend money, money, money. Yeah, I need to get full. Yeah, that's true. And if I eat a little bit, if I eat a little bit, if I'm hungry, if I'm really hungry, and I only eat a little bit, it's going to make me more hungry. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? If I eat a little bit, if I'm hungry, if I'm really hungry, and I only eat a little bit, it's going to make me more hungry. So now I'm going to get even more upset. If I'm going to eat, I'm gonna go all in and get food. Plus, you're gonna pay $30 for that DoorDash, anyways. Either way. Yeah, that is true. I don't really order food from there. I like, um, I like the fries sometimes. But I really only go there to get the uh, caramel chocolate milkshake. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little too good, I think. Oh my god! Yeah, it's so good. Amazing. If I don't get nothing else, <laughs> if I don't get nothing else ever in my life, <laughs> it's too good for you. I don't really be eating at cookout. I just be taking people to cookout. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's my role. Oh yeah, this is the brown mobile. <laughs> Let's go, Didi. Yeah. Oh lord. <laughs> oh I yeah, that's I really it. Yeah. Okay, my cookout order is a chicken strip tray, double cheese bites, and a huge sweet tea. But sometimes I like a chocolate shake. Slay. Um, I like cookout. There's cookouts on like every corner in Memphis. It's there open all the time. Um, I would when I pull up, 
I get however many cheeseburger quesadillas I'm feeling at the time. I might want six, I might want two, I might want four. Um, I like the cheese bites, I like the fries. I kind of just pick and choose what I want, but I'm always gonna give me some cheeseburger quesadilla with the cookout sauce. And then if I get a shake, I'm gonna get a caramel shake, but if it's Christmas season, I'm gonna get an eggnog shake because I'm buzzed. There's no cookout where I want at all, so anytime I come to Hampton, I'm always eating cookout. It's a problem. <laughs> um, my OG order used to be a bacon cheeseburger tray with um, chicken quesadilla and fries and um, a lemonade or a caramel milkshake. But recently, I've been getting them tenders. Yep, some tenders, but some ranch or some cookout yes, sauce. Yes, yes. Mix the I ranch and cookout it. sauce. I need my case. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then I'll get my case to see if it's Yeah, they have to try it. What does it taste like? Have you ever had it? I don't know. It's not really described. It's just like. I know we taste in like certain restaurants. Yeah. But like original sauces. I'm like, I don't know. I don't mustard or barbecue. I got a question. Jackie, I was like, I don't know. I got a question. Maybe I know the question, but I got a question. Canes. How do we feel about canes? Zaxby's or canes versus Zaxby's? It's only good because I'm a Texan. I'm going to go canes. Girl, no. Okay. <laughs> but my thing I is, have Zaxby's. Zaxby's is good, but I don't have Zaxby's. I like Zaxby's. 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 Za
like being black is one of the first thing, is one of the first and probably the only thing people are going to see about you um, before they get to know you obviously so like definitely like it's been like such an open space to figure out who I am outside of who being black because I'll be, yes that's the first thing people see about me but that's the first thing you see about everybody here so there's no consent like you know pre, like there's nothing except for you coming from a predominantly white boarding school in the middle of Massachusetts to this is very different and in the best way because it's like out of in my entire grade of like 80 people it was six black kids so to be surrounded by like black students that are like getting educated and just like black success is just such a beautiful thing especially in a major as a film major in a field that's like predominantly white and male to see not only black women and black people have the same goals as me and like being in a classroom surrounded by other black people and it's not like I'm speaking for all black voices because we all have like different stories but we all have that one story of like being black so it's not like I'm the only person that has that experience it's just Black success is something. Yeah. I really like the um, I like the family aspect. Um, when I chose my college, I wanted to come to a place where I would feel comfortable learning. Um, that wasn't, I guess, like a competitive nature. Like there's some places like like that's just college. You'll have competitive natures, but like Hampton as a whole, from my experience, it's been like it's really tight knit, like a family, and you do feel comfortable. Um, making mistakes and learning from them and you got people behind you to support you in everything that you're doing and um you have friends too that you can support as well like it's just it's a really nice place to like just like find like ground yourself like in i don't know like with the family aspect and you can really take that with you after you leave because i know i'm going to take that with me so yeah i think it was important to me to see black people like in person like in person experience joy and not like just see uh, people in my culture like not struggling or like being in anguish <laughs> because that's like often how we're like depicted in the media and um, especially like when you grow up and it's not the best of environments it just just seeing walking around seeing black people smiling is it's inspiring inspiring in itself so it gave me another perspective and helped me not be so serious all the time it just feels like you can be comfortable like most of the time like i don't like to relax so but it's like this is like the first place where i can like consistently like relax uh at least a little bit and not feel like i'm gonna be like <laughs> so. well just being at an hbcu man is it's just nothing like it. I've been around black people always, but even being here, there's more to us than um, what comes off to other people, per se. You know, we're more than just our struggles. Like, we're still black, but there's still, like, there's more layers to us. You know, everybody's, uh, Everybody's mind is different. Everybody got different uh, goals, ambitions, whatever. You can see how far like we can spread out uh, without being hindered with anybody else. Um, it's just good to see like we're we're branching out and we're not just you know in a bubble that people place us in on the outside. Uh, but, yeah, man, ain't nothing like HBCU. Man. Um, I think for me, uh, growing up, like, like some of uh, others around here, I grew up in a predominantly white, like, I mean, I'm from Florida, y'all already know. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's just bad. <laughs> it's filled with old white people, races, I mean, and I didn't have that community. Like, I went to the most, like, my school, my high school is the most diverse school out of elementary, middle schools, and everything like that, and yet we still were lacking so much, and, like, we hadn't probably like the most black staff and stuff like that so it, it was diverse but not like enough and coming here really opened my eyes to like feel comfortable and not like worry about what i'm gonna, going to say um how is this gonna like what's gonna happen to me um or just worry about my daily life because in florida it's, it gets a little crazy out there um so here i just really feel comfortable in like the community i've made and the networking here like the networking's big here for me like 
just to know if I went to a PWI that I wouldn't get the same networking, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think for me, I feel like I needed to be at an HBCU. Cause like, I like, like others, I grew up around a lot of black people and more people of color, but I didn't, like Tiana said, I thought just me going to college and being black was just enough. Like, oh, I'm black, I, I made it to college. Not everyone makes it to college as a black man, but like being here, it opened my mind that there's people who look like me, just have different backgrounds, have different stories that I need to learn from, that I'm sitting with greatness right next to me. I got people who can help me alongside, open my eyes to tell me different things I just didn't know in life. And I just, there's just nothing like that anywhere else except for HBCU. I just, I just love it. Um, I said for me, I always knew I wanted to go to HBCU. And then on top of that, I also knew that I wanted to leave my home state as well. Uh, I feel like growing up, I was very much living under expectations of people that wanted me to be something. And then escaping that, I kind of got a fresh start. And I was like, well, I'm away from everybody and what they want me to be. So now I can figure out what I actually want to be. And even meeting people that accept me for who I am or my interests. And I don't have to worry about being judged for that or anything like that. It's different too. Um, I would also say from a culture shock aspect in Connecticut, um, specifically the band program. I've been in band since fourth grade as a kid. Um, I've had white band directors. I'm gonna play like Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, which those are great artists, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But I came here and we're playing like black artists music. We're playing very like upbeat and raunchy music. I went from doing two steps to body rolling left and right. <laughs> and also that I didn't expect to do. But I just feel like yeah, it's an experience and I would definitely recommend that if you're a black, you should definitely try to come here. I also wanted to say, I also wanted to say that, like, to be honest, growing up, like where I was, like, or where I went to school, a lot of the black students were not doing what I was doing, unfortunately. You know, like, it was very like, those were the students in the hallways, those were the students kiki in. And I was like, I was one of like, at most two or three black girls in my honors classes. So I didn't really see a lot of me being excellent. So it, it wasn't as motivating. So coming to HBCU and seeing that there are black students who want more, you know what I'm saying? So like that part really helped me really see that I can be more because I was able to see other people like me doing more. So. And we can all affect future generations with our experiences yes. here. Also, it helps knowing that you're part of something that's bigger than yourself. It's very grounding, um, and it kind of just, especially when like you go out in spaces and like you're like representing your entire culture, it can feel like you have a big like microscope on you when you walk out the door, and it's all this pressure. But here, it's just like I'm a part of a tree. Sorry. Literally, like, I'm like I'm just a leaf <laughs> on a tree. I matter, but like I'm. Not it's not it doesn't it doesn't end all be all with me, mm -hmm. and so I think it helps make decisions like helps you make decisions um, going matriculating through Hampton. Mm -hmm. H stands for history, <laughs> and there's no there's no disrespect to anybody else, but it's mm -hmm. just the fact that you're surrounded by people who are like you doing things at a high level. It's just you don't always see that yeah. all the yeah. time, uh, and yeah, you do get the chance to, you know, uh, create a different narrative for people that's that's growing up under us to show them that, you know, you can do more, uh, you can achieve more, um, you don't have to be limited or bound to anything, uh, and we can bring more attention to HBCUs as well uh, when more of us continue to go. Uh, but yeah. That's it, man. Yay! Oh, where's everybody from? I feel like that would be helpful. Oh. Hi, my name, <laughs> my name is Nara. I am a graduating team. <laughs> Liberal studies major with an emphasis in film studies from Hampton, Virginia. Slay. So, I'm from here. I'm from Yeah, Hampton. local. <laughs> I'm a rising junior and I'm from Queens, New York. Yeah, uh, I am a rising junior. Are we saying I am the intro or are we saying what? I was gonna say first name. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Um my name is Sylvana Gwendolyn I go the first. Here you go. I am the first. I'm an English major, film concentration, journalism minor from 
Memphis, Tennessee, Big 901. Memphis, man! Hey. <laughs> I'm Dee Dee. I'm a rising junior. Okay. Um, that's a Oh, <laughs> uh, in the nursing program from Philly. Yay! Big um, North. G State. Yeah. G State. <laughs> Whoa, what that is. Damn, <laughs> girl. <laughs> <laughs> North or nothing. Yeah. Um, I'm Anaya. I'm a rising senior. Um, uh, music performance major, theater minor. Um, uh, from Colleen, Texas. I am a rising sophomore um, from Punta Gorda, Florida. Ooh, it rhymes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what it means? It means fat point. Oh, well, that's not. I'm a rising junior. <laughs> I'm from and I'm from PG, Maryland. PG. I'm a rising senior. I'm from Connecticut. Wait, uh, yeah. I'm a rising junior, theater performance major. Yeah, I'm I am that. <laughs> I am that. I'm, 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 I'm also yeah. theater major. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, you want to say your? Oh, I was gonna. Oh yeah, I'm a rising senior. And from what's gonna get? I'm a kinesiology major. Kinesi. That's a wrap. Appreciate everybody for being here, uh, for being a part of this. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all later, man. I know. Have a good time. Bye. Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs>